Hi Aquarius, welcome back to your monthly Zodiac readings. If this is the first time you have checked into my channel, hi guys, welcome. I hope you find a happy home here. If you are watching me because you are one of my subscribers, hi guys. So nice that you have come back to watch me again this month. I truly appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I'd like to thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, and most of all, your comments that have truly let me know that this is something that I need to continue doing because you guys are enjoying it and you're all getting something very positive from it. If you guys would like a private reading with me, please check my links, check my tarot blog down here, my address, risestarot.blogspot.com. I always have my addresses down below my videos. If you don't see that, it's because you're watching me from another channel and you need to find me, Riza O'Farrell. <laughs> okay, Aquarius, without further ado, you have a beautiful reading showing here. Let's get to it. The middle of your reading shows the Hierophant, which is something very traditional, a commitment that perhaps you guys are looking for this month. So if you are in a relationship where you've been together for quite some time, it looks like a lot of you are going to become committed this month new year maybe it's going to be one of your new year's resolutions to commit to your partner to take it to the next level to become married perhaps even make plans for a baby or make traditional plans you know to get a home have a child and follow the traditional steps of a commitment perhaps you're going to start going to church as this also symbolizes religion it symbolizes a spiritual leader someone that can help you with your commitments if you are single and looking, you would love to have a committed relationship and it is coming for you. And it's going to be someone that's very traditional, perhaps an earth sign as this card symbolizes Taurus. So keep your eyes peeled for that. All right, Aquarius, the energies that come in to block you a little bit this month are going to be the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is an energy where you feel like you need to protect yourself, like you need to defend yourself somehow from others this month it isn't advisable for you to keep protecting yourself so much you need to let your guard down a little bit because for those of you that are single perhaps your guard is up all the time and you're not allowing anyone into your circle you're not allowing anyone to get close enough to you so if you're looking for a relationship and you have these barriers up people can actually feel them from far away so bring down the barrier so that you can allow someone interesting to come into your life this this month. If you are in a committed relationship or you are in a relationship and you would like more commitment, you definitely need to bring down your barriers because your partner might think you don't want to become committed because you're completely protecting yourself. You're, you know, you're fighting, you're, you're always on the defensive. So you need to stop that because that isn't healthy for a committed relationship. You need to bring down that barrier this this month and see how that goes for you because the very next energy shows an energy where it's growing your finances are growing your stability is growing you're grounding yourself these are messages that are going to come through either from someone that works with you for invitations perhaps you can start a new field of study that will put you in a better financial position so that these Stability, this commitment that you want to do something traditional with your life can actually happen because your finances will strengthen. <clears throat> the energy that's above you is you'll have two paths to take. So for some of you, you may even meet two people. There's two roads, there's two jobs, there's two passions that you may want to follow. But you are looking at what you have achieved, how far you have come, the seeds you have planted are starting to come in, and you're leaning towards one one road, one passion, one person more than you do the other. And it could be a fire sign that comes into your life and really blows your socks off. It's a Sagittarius, a, uh, Aries, or a Leo. Or it just represents two paths that you may take. If you are in a committed relationship, again, someone else might come into your life and try to knock you off this traditional path that you're on. Don't, don't do it because you're... Um, significant other probably won't like it. You may have two different homes that you're looking at, two paths, two two places perhaps that you want to move to, uh, two jobs that you can take that will help you commit to this person, will help bring it about. 
that solidification of your relationship. So you're leaning towards one idea more than the other, go for it. As that's something that will happen and it will bring stability to your life. It will bring a foundation. It will bring control. It will bring stability. Your, your castle will be built on stone. That means it's going to be a very solid idea that you get, a very solid path that you take. Your commitment will be solid. It will be a wonderful relationship that will last the test of time because the emperor says so. Here's the emperor with his woman, and he built that castle all by himself on top of a mountain. It's built on stone that way. He's a king. He's the patriarch of his life. And it is a solid, solid foundation that he has built this relationship on. And his power over his domain, which he's looking at right here going, okay, this is what I've done up to now. This is what I want to achieve. I want to commit to this person. I really care about them and I'm going to and I'm going to be very traditional about it and it's going to start something very new very prosperous even if I have to go back to school take a class learn a little bit more about the field that I want to go into this also represents big businesses that are very traditional working for the government working for the county for the state hospitals where you all go in and you all sign up the same way, you all go through the same test, everything is very traditional and done in certain steps, that's what this represents too. It represents the establishment, the established business, which is a bit boring, but it does offer 401k, a vacation, full benefits, so you know where I'm getting at. You want to commit to somebody and you want everything to be copacetic and very stable, and it will be. And if you are single, you're heading towards a relationship that's going to bring a lot of stability into your life, a lot of organization. You're going to be controlled. You're going to be uh, very grounded. You're going to like the fact that you won't have to try to defend yourself all the time. You can bring that barrier down because the patriarch of your, of your heart is going to take control of things and you're going to be able to relax a little bit more. The past that you have before you, the two choices, the two people, the two places, you're going to lean towards one and it'll be the right decision because it'll be the one that grounds you, the one that protects you, the one that establishes you in a, in a certain place. And you may be taking some new classes or, or going down a new field where you feel you need to learn a little bit more about things, which is fine because it's all part of, it's all part of the learning process. The romance angels are saying that you need to bring a little bit more passion into your life. Allow your heart to, and soul to sing with joy. So by bringing more passion into your life, you're going to raise your vibrations. If you're in a relationship, it's going to help you with your significant other. And if you are single, it'll help attract a significant other into your life, which is what you want. Somehow you're going to be blessed this month. An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. So you're going to be gifted by the divine, by the universe. There's something that you've wished for, something that you've wanted, and now you're going to open up that treasure chest and find that it's already there waiting for you. So something wonderful will manifest for you this month. You need to own your own power. Every storm brings a fresh new beginning. So for some of you, you're going to be transforming because a lot of new things are going to happen. This may seem as a bad thing at first, and then it portends a beautiful gift, something that comes from it. Every storm brings in a new beginning, so by owning your power, by being who you truly are, and moving forward in life, transformation is coming, and it's coming for the good in your life. You need it. Azure. You deserve, your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith, and don't try to force it to happen. As the time is not right for it yet, but it is coming. So something that you've wished for, something that you've wanted will come. It will manifest. Just wait for divine timing. It is at work in your love life and in your life in general. Get to know each other. So when you do meet that person that you've been waiting to meet, learn, learning to meet another's needs for love is important for a relationship to grow. Get to know that person. Get to know what makes them tick. Get to know what they love. Get to know their family. Get to know things from their past, relationships, everything you can from this person. That way, once you unite with them, 
once you figure out that this is the person that you want stability with, that you want to go the long haul with, you know them. You already know everything that makes them tick, how you can make them happy, what upsets them, what they don't like, so that you can mesh together perfectly for this beautiful union that you're looking to manifest in your life. That's whether you're in a relationship or not, because you can live with someone for 20 years and not know them completely, but by taking the time to listen to them, to get to know them, and every chance you get, make time to be alone together and talk. Just talk. Bring back some things from the past. Let them know that you care by asking questions, by wanting to know them, by asking them what makes them tick, what don't they like, what do they like, what makes them happy, how do they like their feet rubbed, how do they like their back rubbed. I mean, get to know a person. That way you can make each other happy and live together the rest of your lives and just loving each other that is so so beautiful and it can happen for you Aquarius the timing is just a little off because divine timing is at work in your love life for some of you and for some of you you're gonna get this commitment it's coming just relax into it let go and let God I love you guys I'm sending you lots of blessings from my heart to yours happy new year and uh, don't forget to check back next month bye for now